In this example conversion problem, we will convert from kilograms to newtons and we will convert our weight into dynes. And these are two hints. So if you want, you can pause the video here and attempt the problem. So let's get started. So we are given uh, 35 newtons and we want to convert to kilograms. So we can say uh, 35 newtons and we know that one newton is equivalent to kilograms times meter divided by seconds squared. That's just the conversion that we need to have memorized. And so this would equal 35 kilograms times meter divided by seconds squared. And so we want to convert this into just kilograms. And we can do that if we divide by gravity. So that would be 9.81 meters divided by seconds squared. And by doing this, meters would cancel and seconds squared would cancel and we would just get kilograms. So 35 divided by 9.81 is going to be 3.57 kilograms. And so this would be the final answer for the first problem. And now we want to convert the weight into dynes of 5 ton object. So we can say we have 5 tons. Uh, we know that 1 ton is about 2,000 uh, pounds. And we know that 2.2 pounds is roughly one kilogram. This is another conversion that we should have memorized. And when we do this, we tons cancel, pounds cancel, and we just have kilograms. And if you notice in this hint, we're saying that kilograms times meter divided by second squared is equivalent to this dynes. And so for this problem, we would have to multiply by gravity, which is nine 0.81 meters divided by second squared. And so if you notice, this right here is mass and this right here is gravity, so gravity. And so now we have kilograms times meter divided by second squared. If we multiply this out, we would get 44591 kilograms times meter divided by second squared. We're not done yet because in this problem we want to convert into dynes. And so we'll have one more step using this relationship right here. So we can say 44591 four, uh, kilograms times meter divided by second squared. And based on the relationship, we know that one kilogram times meter divided by second squared is going to be 10 to the fifth dynes. So this would cancel and this would cancel and we would be left off with dynes. And so we would get roughly 4.46 times 10 to the 9 uh, dynes. And that's all we need to do for these two problems. 